What's good, people? Agent Juice reporting for duty. In today's lovely little drawing inspiration episode, I shall be speed painting the maniacally vicious Gertrude from Scotty Young's comic series, I Hate Fairyland. And as part of this speed paint, I'm going to attempt to loosely recreate the art style of the comic, mainly in the messy and wild line work. Now again, if I wanted to lie to you, I'd say I'm doing this as a means of emulating the art style of Scotty Young and bringing his influence into the work much the same way I wish to bring his character design or writing influence into my own work. But the truth, my dear friends, is that it's easier to do messy line work than it is to do clean line work. Tee hee! I think you know where I'm going with this. Anyway, if you haven't had a chance to read I Hate Fairyland, I highly recommend it. Particularly if you're into dark comedy and over-the-top violence disguised as a whimsical Candyland adventure. For those of you who'd never heard of I Hate Fairyland, the TLDR of it is that Gertrude, the main character of the series, was once upon a time transported to the magical land of Fairyland when she was but a child. She was then tasked by the ruler of Fairyland, who is Claudia, the queen, upon going on a whimsical adventure to find a laundry list of MacGuffins that would eventually lead her back to her homeworld. Unfortunately, that never happened. And now, nearly 30 years later, Gertrude still searches for these MacGuffins, not having physically aged past childhood. The decades spent in Fairyland, trapped in a little girl's body, have not been kind to her, and Gertrude has gone bonkers in her seemingly futile attempt to return home, and has twisted from a scared little girl into a raging murder machine. I Hate Fairyland chronicles her spectacularly murderous escapades in trying to get the hell out of Fairyland, all the while aided by her little helpful Jiminy Cricket guide friend Larry, who frankly is just as fed up with all this nonsense as Gertie is. And with all that explanation said and done, and for those of you who follow my work in the past, at this point, it's rather self-evident why I admire Gertrude as a character and why I'm drawing inspiration from her and her story. For those of you not savvy to the sitch, I like her so much because she is a joyous, roiling mess of darkness. In my previous videos, I've covered characters I like such as Retzko and Starlight Glimmer and have cited their inner darkness as a source of admiration. Gertrude is similar, but has a different angle to this whole inner darkness nonsense. Whereas the previous characters mentioned are individuals who attempt to behave kindly but struggle with a dark side to their personality, Gertrude is very open about her darkness and almost revels in her own madness. Basically, if I were to describe Gertrude in one phrase, and yes, in this case I'm using a whole phrase instead of a word for those of you familiar with my MO, I would say that she is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Her outward appearance is that of a cute little girl, but in reality she is a jaded and murderous middle-aged woman who has the great misfortune of being trapped in a little girl's body. Granted, her outward appearance is still ragged and rather psychotic looking compared to an actual cute and innocent child, but the point still stands. Her small stature is meant to belie her true dangerous nature. But don't get me wrong, Gertrude is not some crazed joker-like serial killer. Her darkness and violence come from spending decades in a hopeless situation in a world where everyone kind of hates her. In fact, Claudia, the aforementioned ruler of Fairyland, plays the main antagonist of the series and regularly tries to outright kill Gertrude, so a good portion of her nature is kind of understandable. In a strange way, I kind of compare the relationship of Gertrude and Claudia to that of Kratos and Zeus, respectively, from God of War. It's quite clear that Zeus has it out for Kratos, and you can see why Kratos hates the gods and wants them dead, but at the same time it doesn't excuse the innocence that Kratos kills in the process of getting his revenge. But that's why I find Gertrude so fascinating. She's clearly out of her mind and a danger to everyone around her, guilty and innocent alike, but you're able to see why she's like that, and given the same circumstances, honestly, who wouldn't end up like her? That kind of deep and tormented characterization wrapped up in a zany, whimsical, happy land satire is ultimately what I greatly enjoy about I Hate Fairyland. And the hilarious situation of a horrid and insane murder machine trapped in the body of a seemingly harmless child is the lovely icing on the cake. Anyway, I think it's time to go ahead and wrap it up here for today. If you lots like my content and wish to see more of it, go ahead and tickle those funny little buttons and feel free to leave a comment. I'm always down with hearing what you have to say and it really helps the channel and the algorithm. And also, you can go ahead and follow me on other social media that I'll link in the description box down below. And with all that said, I thank you for spending this time with me. I hope you all stick around. And until next time, edusis.